Dave, what are the two best answers a salesperson can hear? All right. When it comes to, will you buy from me? Here's the quote. The only two answers you can get are yes or no. And, and that makes sense. That, that is inarguable. I think that's the word. But here's the problem. While those are the only two answers you can get, so many salespeople accept, think it over, or I'll let you know. We'll call you later. They accept so many other answers that just are a giant waste of time. You can become comfortable with decisions in sales. A lot of your problems will go away. The problem is one of those decisions is no. And by the time we were six years old, the million impressions of no being bad just infiltrated our bodies. And, and now all of a sudden, no is wrong. No is lose. No is uh-uh. Over. Final. And, and we do whatever we can to stay away from no. So do yourself, and I'm, group, I know I'm not the first one telling you this. Do yourselves a favor. Get comfortable with decisions. Yes is a perfectly good decision. No is a perfectly good decision. I would coach you to talk to your prospects and give them permission to tell you no and watch some of them won't do it. They can't tell you no because they don't want to tell you no. They want to tell you think it over and make it long and drawn out and they're too nice and they don't want to hurt your feelings. Give them permission to tell you no and watch what happens. Do you know how many times you will hear no if you give permission to tell your to be told no? You're going to hear no a lot, but you'll also hear yes, because if that's the only other option, you're in good shape. I One of the agree. best lessons you can learn as a young salesperson, this is a life lesson. I mean, who's afraid of no? Right? You watch a kid at the high school dance, run around the gym, afraid to ask her to dance because he doesn't want to be rejected. Well, that kid grows up. Doesn't ever want to hear no. Never hears no in sales. Can't rub two nickels together because he can't make a living. And it all comes back to his, his uncomfortable with that, that rejection. It's part of life. It's okay. It's not going to kill you. It's going to move you closer to a yes. One of the best lessons we can teach people is be decisive. Be comfortable with yes or no decisions. I think something that needs to be pointed out as well, tying this back to how we started our conversation, is no also gets you right back to your most valuable asset, your time. Why waste your time on something? Like you said, if they're not comfortable telling you no and rejecting you, why, why are you sticking around? If that maybe is never going to become a yes, why are you going to bed every night thinking that, oh, there's still a chance... Get right to the point. Stop wasting your own time, not the other person's time, your time, and move on to the next one, right? If it's, you might get a handful of no's before you get a yes, but having 10 maybes is a heck of a lot worse than having nine no's and one yes. Would you agree with that? Oh, for sure. For sure. 10 so. maybes wastes 10 times the, mo- the amount of time because now you're following up on something. That'll never bear any fruit. You're looking busy. What's worse, you won't prospect because you have all these 10 maybes in the background. Maybe and think it over is a killer of sales organizations. It gives you a false sense of security that you don't have. And when you have that false sense, you don't prospect, right? When you don't prospect, you have nobody to talk to. When we have nobody to talk to, you're out of business. Really look at your your comfort with decisions. Put a lot of companies out of business over the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. Because there's nothing to fall back on. Absolutely. 